today you guys i'm just coming to you raw and uncut i have put on no makeup okay i have given you guys the no fashions this is actually my nine to five ensemble that i'm wearing now okay with jean and black sweater so this is just a full moment of transparency you know i am always drilling you guys on what you need to do and how you need to do it and where you need to go and where you went wrong and why this not happening and why that's not happening you need to get yourself together but today I'm gonna call myself to the floor. What is the point of having a relationship with you guys where you guys tell me all of your problems, things that you're going through, and I don't do the same with you? There has to be some transparency on both ends, and I think that you all may be able to assist me in ways that I might not know how, you know what I mean? So I'll make it really brief. Um, you guys know that I started the BMC in 2009. It rebooted in 2020, middle of the pandemic, and you know, you guys were on it from the gate, right? You know, we have been connecting, we have been talking, we have literally been building this relationship since then, and it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. The reach has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Which I don't know is and where some of you may not know is that you know I am a full-time mom obviously I am in the real estate industry I'm in the property management field so I have this trio podcast with my two closest friends from high school we've been friends for over 20 years we have a podcast I have fam services LA which is a customer service coaching business and I also do account management services for that business I have my flower business where I do floristry I do floral arrangements you know I do I've done uh, repasts I've done you know birthdays I've done parties all of the things I also have a business partnership with Peace of Color and great segue for 7090 as well. This is her jewelry line. So my business partner has several businesses. This is one of them. If you guys ever want earrings like this that have your name in it or any kind of initial, she has all kind of other dope jewelry as well. The promo code will be in the description box, but it will be promo code BMC. Use my promo code. She will hook you up and yeah, make sure you do that. I also am Fallon the Singer. Okay, and so for many of you that do know, I've been doing music since I was 12 years old. Singing, songwriting, performing, I've been doing it for a really, really long time. I've been a part of girl groups, you know, all other things. And this is prior to my College Hill affiliation. I've been doing music for a very, very, very long time and I've released a number of projects. I'll drop them here. They're... All things considered. I have a whole lot on my plate and I do have a partner. We have been together for a very, 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 very long time. All things considered, when I come down, to, when I come to sit down to do the BMC and I bring you guys these topics that are on my heart, either inspired by things that you guys have talked to me about when we've talked virtually or through DMs or whatever, or, you know, things that are just on my heart to share that I'm using, I'm being, allowing myself to be used as a vessel to get whatever message out that I want to get out, right? Things that speak to me when I see certain situations, I can look deeper into a situation and see, okay, this is the lesson that could potentially be learned if we look at it through this lens or, you know, through this POV. But aside from the actual work that I'm doing with that, it is actual work just getting yourself together in order to be able to do this consistently, which is why since 2020, there hasn't been a consistent flow and schedule of my content. There have been bumps in the road, child, okay? <laughs> Everybody, I know all the content creators always want to be consistency, consistency, and talk about how consistency is so important, which we all know, but how pliable is that? I mean, it's difficult. You know, I don't know how many people share that as a content creator. You can hear from me first, okay? For all of my ladies that are content creators and I wanna have start, start having more conversations with you guys as to what kind of careers you're getting into. What is it that you're trying to manifest? You know, we're not just gonna stay stuck in one place and not, you know, experience any growth or aspiration to grow. You know, we wanna figure out how we can, you know, you know what our trajectory forward is but consistent content creation is not easy and it does take a lot from you emotionally mentally you know especially again considering all the other things you have going on so all of these businesses that i have chosen nobody has chosen this life for me so i'm not complaining but just acknowledging that to juggle all of these balls while life is still happening around you that is no doubt a challenge and so i come here today completely just drained this is the real reason why I'm here. You know, this is a thought that was on my mind on the way home from work. You know, I work, I have a commute that's almost 45 minutes to an hour to get back home. Whole other story, okay? Whole other story. But the message that came through when I was driving in the car is, I understand what people mean when they have said or they say, God forgot about me. 
I feel like God forgot about me. I can empathize with that. I can relate to that. I can understand that. And although I believe myself to be a little bit more spiritually enlightened and, you know, tapped into source and in all kind of other ancestral realms and things that I know that I'm being covered. I, there's no way that I would be at this point in my life if I wasn't being covered, if I wasn't being uh, looked after and looked over. But I can understand and empathize what people having that experience, what that feels like and why they feel that way. When you have been grinding for a long, long, you know, some of us have been out there and it, again, this is all relative to your life, you know? So you could have been in the hair game for a super long time. Maybe you've been doing hair for the longest and you want to open up your own beauty shop. And this is a dream that you've had forever. You know, you've worked in this shop. You've, you've, or maybe you've tried to open a shop. Maybe you did a partnership with a, you know, a partner, a business partner and tried to open up a beauty shop and it, and it didn't work out or that business failed. And you've worked in other salons and things like that. And, you know, just trying to, you know, put in your hours to really solidify yourself and understand what it takes to even run your own business. Just the hours it takes to put in to really get it, get to where it is that you're trying to go. It's a challenge, you guys. It's a not easy going through those ebbs and flows of that process and of that journey. And there's no easy way through it. You know, Nipsey Hustle. for those of you who don't know, that may not be, you know, uh, located in LA or have uh, an ear to the streets as far as just like dope hip hop or, you know, rap music. But Nipsey Hustle was from the Crenshaw District um, in Los Angeles, California. And you know, he spoke a lot about going through the fire as it pertains to get into your goals you know the the marathon continues basically encompasses everything that i'm talking about just you know not giving up you know when this goal gets reached you, you know you got to go on the next lap what's what's next you know what i'm saying it's kind of like the grind does not stop and well beyond his years in wisdom as to how to navigate the rule what that experience is of trying to fight for your dream, trying to attain your goals, trying to make things happen for yourself. He understood and, and that is the gift and that was his legacy and that was his mission in life, you know, to show us a pathway of, you know, cause a lot of times people talk about, oh, well, this is what it takes for you to get here. And this is what it takes for you to get there and all of those different things. But there, the, a lot of those things are subjective and there may not be a lot of step-by-step -step detail, you know, real day-to-day -day detail of how to navigate through these things. And he did that. And it takes that to really have your footing because it's gonna be rocky, you guys. So for anybody, it's really a message to let you know that God has not forgotten about you because he hasn't forgotten about me either. I know what that feels like. I know what that could feel like to feel like, you know, I've been doing this for a long time or I got this going on or, you know, when are things gonna let up? When are things gonna open up for me? When are things going to start to click and make sense? When are things going to manifest themselves in the 3D, the way that I see them in my heart, mind, and soul? God sees you, your ancestors see you. I would urge and implore all of you guys to really start doing some research into your ancestral past. Um, I think that that gives us context, a bigger context and a larger, broader scope of who we are, where we come from, pathology, psychology, certain things that are just genetic. You know, we want to know about those things. We also want to know who we have looking over us and guiding us. Who do we have that's depending on us to continue on the legacy of what they've left, you know? And I think that gives us clearer direction on where we need to go and what we need to do and how we need to navigate our path to get to where it is that we ultimately wanna go. One thing I think we also need to consider doing is making sure you have that work-life balance. People that work really hard and people that put a lot of hours in, and that's not just through the craft of what it is that you do, but studying your craft, uh, reading, writing, watching documentaries, um, you know, meditating, praying, um, serving, like all of those different things. Like you have to be able to balance that out with peace in your life, you know, stuff that is going to relax you, stuff that is going to rejuvenate and restore you on a personal level. Like I will go and go and go and go. And, you know, again, you become that kind of person where you don't even 
feel like you've worked hard enough. Like, have I done enough today? How, did I go hard enough today? Did I talk to enough people? Did I read enough books? Did I do, you know, did I do enough of the things? It's, it's such a fine line, you guys, because it's like you want to be diligent. You want to go after what it is that you want. But at the same time, you kind of have to trust God and just understand and know that in due time, you will manifest the things that you are trying to manifest. You will manifest the desires of your heart. It's just not going to be in the way in which you might think. It might not be in the time in which you may think. That part we have no control over. But what we craft in our mind as far as what it is that we want to attain, we have dominion over that. Only The only problem we have a part with is the time and not really knowing like from which direction it's going to come and how it's going to make itself tangible. But that's the beauty of being under the creator's eye and watch. You know, we are we are on his or her time. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to share that because, again, I understand what people mean when they say that. I think I forgot about me. When you are grinding and you are relentlessly putting in the real work, y'all, the real work okay and i'm talking about and i know so many of you have because you've reached out to me every conversation i have with you guys is not always i baby dated this mother a lot of it is accountability a lot of it is culpability for your circumstance a lot of it is the desire to be better and to have better and to have more or to say you know i, I listened to you and this and this worked for me this 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 you know made sense to me and it made such a difference in my you know circumstance and i appreciate that like there are people out there and ladies out there that are really putting in the work and i commend you guys keep going make sure you're also living in your purpose so that way all of the ebbs and the flows and the ups and downs and the rifts feel like they're worth it the worst thing to do is to, to feel that which you ultimately may feel in any kind of arena because no matter where you go it's gonna be rocky it's gonna be balanced to the good it's gonna be some tough times but why not have it be in an arena that really brings you joy, that makes you happy, that gives you a sense of fulfillment? You know, that should be paramount for you. Don't be in any place that doesn't make you happy. It is not worth it. Life is too short. Don't do it. You know, you need to be only doing things that fit, feel fuel you and make you feel a certain type of way. And of course, this doesn't mean I'm going to quit my job tomorrow, although we might have some videos on that, like how to quit your nine to five. OK, if y'all need some videos on that, let me know. OK, we're going to have those conversations, too. But, you know, a lot of us have bills and things and obligations, and we have to make sure that we are responsible and handle those things accordingly. So God did not forget about you. He sees you. She sees you. The creator source sees you. Your ancestors see you. Just keep fighting a good fight. And I am for sure talking to myself right now. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I literally just came off the cuff right now. I have no books. I do have my new lip gloss that just dropped. You know, I got to still work, right? I got to still work. Okay, flower child. You know, we got lip glosses now, y'all. We got the fragrance, okay? Of course, again, I did mention my girl. Uh, piece of color uh, sub-brand is 7090. The promo code will be in the description box if you want some name earrings, initial earrings, any of that stuff. Very, very good quality. Uh, and again, I have a lip gloss, you guys, Flower Child, okay? This is Love Box, and this is, I am wearing it. I'll go ahead and I'll put a little bit on just so you guys can see. And it is, it's giving like soft pink. It's giving mauve, you know what I'm saying? Just a very light pink. Very, very subtle, very cute. I know a lot of us ladies are scared of color. It's not going to give you that. It's just going to give you a pop of pigment. You know, no matter what your skin tone is, it's going to look good on any skin tone. It's just going to kind of melt into your skin. And that's what our lip glosses do. And I will be doing some more videos too. Some lip combo videos and different things too. So y'all can make sure to check that out. But all that information will be in the description box. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you for always being there for me. Like I'm there for you. And I do love you guys. And I appreciate you. Um, and I appreciate your support. Okay. Peace.